The 2016 Chevrolet Camaro is a two-door coupe with seating for four passengers and is available in four different trims levels starting out with the 1LT, 2LT, 1SS and last the 2SS model. A convertible model will also be available sometime later in the model year. The one I have here today is the 2LT RS dressed up nicely in summit white exterior with exclusive adrenaline red and black leather interior. The Chevrolet Camaro has long been known as one of America's muscle car and was designed as a competing model to the Ford Mustang as well as the Dodge Challenger. It is an automobile manufactured by Chevrolet and is now currently in its 6th generation. For 2016, the Camaro was fully redesigned inside out. Nearly every part of the Camaro was redesigned. The new 2016 Camaro body was made around a smaller, lighter architecture while respecting the predecessor design. This allows for a smaller, wider, and more athletic Camaro shape. This tighter proportion in a sport car that shed up to 390 pounds translates into a more responsive braking, better attack in and out of corners, and a noticeably more nimble performance. Tighter proportion also let the aggressive body feature like the fastback profile and rear quarter panel become more pronounced, creating a road presence that's hard to ignore. This tester we have here today comes loaded with option. It comes with the RS package, which includes the 20-inch wheel, xenon headlights, LED tail light, a special grill, and the rear lip spoiler. Technology package, which adds a 9-speaker Bose audio system, and an 8-inch touchscreen with voice control. The convenience and lightning package will add a heated and auto-dimming exterior mirror, rear parking sensor, illuminated seal plate, driver memory function, a heads-up display, an upgraded multi-function gauge cluster display, multi-color interior ambient lightning, a heated steering wheel, wireless device charging, rear cross-traffic alert, a blind spot monitoring system, as well as the lane departure warning system. Up front, the first thing you will notice is the HID headlamp with LED signature daytime running light, as well as turn signal light. Very cool looking LED daytime running light. LED fog lights and chrome accented grille with iconic OS batching are also equipped with the OS package. And a closer look at the grill. Very aggressive looking front end. It also comes with intermittent windshield wipers with adjustable speed. And there's a closer look at the windshield wipers. Looking at the side, you see the cornering light and the 20 inch fire split bulk premium gray painted machine face aluminum wheel with 245 40 all season tires. Behind the wheel is the set of internally ventilated breakers with silver painted brake caliber and RS badging on the uh, center cap. Camera badge on each fender. Body color side view mirror. And here's the look to the top with the uh, shark fin antenna. Rear wheels are also 20 inches. Behind the rear wheel is also the internally ventilated brake disc and the brake caliber painted in silver as well. It also comes with anti-lock braking system, stability track as well as stability control system with brake assist. It also comes with the tire pressure monitoring system on all four wheels.
cornering lights are also integrated into the rear bumper. Now moving to the back, the first thing you'll notice is the iconic LED tail light that comes with the OS package. Integrated into the tail light is the LED brake light as well as LED turn signal light. The tail light are very unique and stylish that you know it is a Camaro if you ever see it at night time. And there's the rear deck spoiler that also comes with the OS package. At the bottom is the black rear diffuser that frame the dual chrome tip exhaust. Rear deflectors and park assist are also integrated into the rear bumper. And a closer look at the uh, exhaust tip as well as the rear diffuser. Rear view camera is located above the license plate and it will activate once the vehicle is in reverse. And there you have the third LED brake light on the trunk lid. Okay, here I have the remote with a Chevrolet logo on the back. On the remote I have the lock, unlock, engine start and the trunk release as well as panic button. Now to start the engine, you have to press the lock button first and then hold the engine start button for a couple seconds until the engine start and then press it once again to stop. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. So the car does come equipped with smart access key system. With the key in your pocket, just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. And after a while, press it again to unlock. The exterior color is known as Summit White, featuring exclusive adrenaline red and black leather interior with silver aluminum trims throughout. Very sporty looking interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. Now to start up the vehicle, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake and push the engine start to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2016 Chevrolet Camaro 2LT have to offer. Under the hood is a 3.6 liter V6 direct fuel injection engine, rear wheel drive, 8-speed automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter pushing out 335 horsepower at 6,800 rpm and 284 pound-feet of torque at 5,300 rpm can hit from 0 to 60 in about 5.1 seconds 
Top speed is electronically limited at 155 miles per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 18 city, 28 highway, and 21 combined. Very impressive engine. And there you also have the uh, Camaro lettering under the uh, hood. Now we're going to shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver side door panel. It is all black with red in metal as well as silver aluminum trims and red contrast stitching on it as well. Both windows are fully automatic. And there you have the uh, side view mirror control, two position memory sitting, and there's the lock and unlock. Both around sound speaker, and there's the trunk release button, and the uh, storage compartment. Camaro door seal. And there's the pedal. And here's a closer look at the seat. Very nice looking sport seat with red contrast stitching throughout. Both front seats feature six way power adjustable front seat, including two store position for driver seat, steering wheel, as well as outside mirror. And both front seat does feature heated and ventilated seat option. The three spoke flat bottom sports steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with perforated side grip. Looks and feel very sporty as well as red contrast stitching to match with the red interior. Featuring multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command, cruise control as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Steering wheel does also feature heated option. Behind the steering wheel you have the up and down paddle shifter. So you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. Behind the uh, paddle shifter you have the windshield wiper controlled. To the left you have the light controlled as well as turn signal light. And steering wheel does feature manual tilt and telescopic steering column. Here's a look at the instrument cluster with the large uh, screen in the middle that shows important information directly in front of the driver and you can also uh, control mostly uh, everything in the car via those uh, navigation located on the uh, steering wheel. You have information. And you have your audio. Telephone, navigation, a very small navigation screen, and you also have a uh, setting. Okay, looking at the left you have the uh, driver side air vent with beautiful aluminum trims around it. And there you have the uh, interior lightning control. Here you have your heads up display. You can move it up or down for better visibility and you can also hit the uh, info button which will show you uh, different information uh, on the heads up display
and you can also change the uh, adjust the brightness of it which is very cool and here's a closer look at the dash and a closer look at the heads up display now this particular model comes with the upgraded Bose surround sound system featuring nine loudspeakers located throughout the cabin that will give you and your passenger a great listening experience located centrally on the dash is the 8 inch touchscreen with voice control now this touchscreen also includes Apple CarPlay uh, compatibility and Android Auto functionality that will be added later in the model year via a software update. Very nice sound quality. And here's the menu screen. You have audio, phone, projection, navigation, setting, Pandora, weather, text, on star lightning and traffic okay let's go into lightning and as you can see you have the uh, light strip which you can uh, control the brightness or you can turn it on and off and uh, you can also change uh, to a lot of different color and there you go as you can see you can turn it on or off And there's also uh, the light strip on the center console as well. And the show mode is for the uh, different color. But for some reason this one doesn't uh, let me pick different color for now. Okay, let's go in. There you have the projection, which is... Uh, there's no protection uh, connected setting in setting you have language valet mode time and date driving mode radio vehicle Bluetooth Apple CarPlay voice display rear camera and uh, many other uh, settings there's the volume control on and off and the home and back button and down here you have your full zone climate control it also comes with a three-stage heated and a ventilated option. That's the on and off button. And there's the uh, dual event. Very cool looking design event. There you have the emergency hazard light. And here's the center console. The gear shift lever is very uh, good looking with red contrast stitching. Feels very good in your hand as well. Just uh, press the unlock button and pull it down to get into reversed. And uh, as you can see, it also comes with a guidance line to guide you through uh, your backup. Down again for neutral. And down again for drive. And over to the left for manual or sport mode. That's when you can push it up or down to change gear or use the uh, steering wheel mounted paddle shifter, which is very easy to use. And on top of the uh, shift lever, you see that uh, camera lettering on it as well. Okay, down here you have the uh, different driving mode. You can choose between tour, sport, and uh, snow and ice mode. There's your parking uh, brake. And here you have your 12 volt power plug. And a uh, two cup holder. And here's the uh, center glove, uh, center storage compartment with beautiful red contrast stitching. Inside you have two USB plug as well as the uh, auxiliary input. And here you have the uh, glove box compartment.
Okay, and a closer look at the seat once again. With a great upholstery material and the seats are well padded. It is very comfortable sitting in the uh, front seat. On top you have the light controlled and the uh, passenger airbag status and there you have the uh, three universal uh, garage door opener and the uh, rear view mirror with on star and a SOS button here's the sun visor mirror with a card holder Okay, now let's check out the rear seat. So to fold down the front seat, just pull that lever and push it up. And it looks like you have two uh, seats in the back. Rear seat looks uh, really good as well. Okay, so here I'm in the uh, rear seat. I'm 5'8 and I still have a little bit of leg room left. And headroom is reasonable for me as well. So if you're 5'8 and uh, below, you will be quite comfortable in the back. And the rear seats are also very comfortable. You also have a rear seat pocket. And here you have your wireless uh, charging for your phone. And there the label said not to put uh, anything on there beside your phone. And here's a look to the front. Very sporty looking cabin. And a look to the top. And a look to the back. And uh, the rear seat can also be folded down in one piece. So if you need more space for your cargo, you can always fold it down to get uh, put longer items. Very comfortable in the back. All right, now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer. Okay, as you can see, the uh, Camaro offer a lot of uh, cargo space for such a small car. It offers 9.1 cubic feet of cargo space, which is very decent for its class. And you also have your floor mat here, and uh, see what we have down here. Looks like we have a uh, tools, your tools, and your tie kit. And there you have the manual release uh, lever in case you get locked up inside the trunk okay gas cap is located on the uh, passenger side just push it in to unlock it is capless and it does not require premium fuel but it's always good to put uh, premium gas into your car Overall, the 2016 Chevrolet Camaro is an American muscle vehicle with modern styling inside out. The exterior and interior have been fully redesigned with premium materials. I'm sure it will, be, uh, it will amaze you and your passenger. And again, another look at the back. Okay, now let's jump into the front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. So sitting in the front passenger is uh, very low, so you do get that feeling that uh, you are in a sport car. And it does offer quite a bit of uh, leg room as well. Alright guys, so that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the 2016 Camaro uh, video. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting everyone know what you think about this Camaro comparing to the uh, fourth Mustang and the uh, Dodge Challenger. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And as always, this is going to be a short drive. I'm going to take it back and park it back uh, to its original uh, parking space. 
at the same time let you guys see how it is uh, being on the driver seat the heads up display are very clear and you do feel like you are in a sport car driving in the uh, Camaro steering are very uh, easily to control as well and here's the parking space I'm going to back it up and uh, so you guys can see how it is uh, with the reverse camera So it does make backing up uh, a lot easier with that uh, guidance line. You can see exactly where the car is moving to or you know backing up to. Alright guys, I'll see you guys next time.